Hello Internet, this is going to be a tutorial on importing, converting, and editing VOB files. These file types are typically found on DVD, uh, DVDs and uh, can be found in uh, camcorders. Certain camcorders use this type of file encoding when you're taking your video, your home video or whatever. Um, Uh, this, this tutorial is totally unscripted if you can't tell by now. Uh, the program I'm going to use for this is going to be Sony Vegas Pro 8.1. Uh, I did buy this program, however you can get a trial download of it. I would suggest going ahead and downloading the uh, Pro trial. I believe the one that's on the Sony.com website right now is Vegas Pro 9, so go ahead and download that. Um, otherwise, uh, highly recommend this program it's rather simple to learn however not as simple as Windows Movie Maker but we all know that that uh, isn't exactly the highest end video editing program so we're gonna open up Sony Vegas um, you notice this window is kinda small I want to make sure you guys can see everything uh, that I'm doing uh, instead of having in you know so it's not so in the distance if, as if I had it to my full resolution of the screen um, first thing you'll notice is you've got this Explorer window uh, you'll notice that right now I have a DVD in the slot and the drive and it's because I'm doing this with a DVD since I don't have a camcorder that uh, makes a VOB files my camcorder actually makes MOD files which is uh, more or less an MPEG, which is a little easier to deal with than these VOB files. So anyway, uh, what you want to do here in Sony Vegas, uh, so I guess I forgot to mention that the process should be the same for a DVD or a camcorder that makes VOB uh, files. Basically, you're just going to need to find the source of the file and you're going to import it. So in this case, we're going to go to File, Import, DVD camcorder disc, totally meant for this. Um, you'll see my source is already highlighted as the DVD uh, video recording in my E drive. However, if if the uh, file or the uh, location that uh, it's highlighted automatically isn't there, so like for example, if you plug in a camcorder in a USB slot or something like that, and it's like drive H or G or whatever just go ahead and go to browse my computer etc and select that um, drive and if it doesn't let you select the drive go ahead and select the folder that the um, file is in or even go ahead and select the uh, actual video file that you want to import because because this is a DVD drive I'm gonna go ahead and import the whole the whole video TS file um, which you'll see here in DVDs the video is always in the TS file or folder but anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and import this hold on here make sure I get this on my desktop alright so basically just select where you want to put it um, it creates a video recording file and you click OK and you know this is going to take a couple of minutes um, I'm going to cut out part of this and it's going to import all your uh, VOB files as .mpeg and for the most part .mpeg is a very lossless format it's right up there next to eight, uh, AVI in the quality of the video and it's also compatible with the majority of uh, video editing programs including Sony Vegas, Windows Media Player, or Movie Maker, etc. So anyway, after all that's done, you get this video uh, DVD recording folder. You can open it up. You'll see all the files are in MPEGs. Um, this MPEG.SFK, just ignore that. That says, um, that's because I dragged it into the, uh, the timeline already, and it creates a temporary file, um, so it notes the changes to the original clip. Um, 
But anyway, you'll see these are all MPEG files. You can do whatever you want with them. It's compatible with pretty much every music uh, movie maker there is. Um, so back into Vegas. Uh, if you go up here, go to your Explorer. You'll see the clips. You just clip on, click on a clip. It'll show you all the attributes and stuff. Um, and you, if you want to edit a clip, you just go ahead, drag it on down and it goes into the timeline it builds up the peaks if you want to you know, use this little cursor here you can move around through the video um, when I do that it goes through and it goes through the frames and stuff uh, if you want to splice a clip you press S and you can splice it out if you want to cut something you just press S again and you can delete it out and then you can smash it up um, make it a hard cut or whatever or you can go up here and do some flashes or uh, some slides some pushes etc or you can add some video effects uh, color correction color balance you know etc um, not going to go into really much detail on that because it's more of a video on getting the actual files in to be edited um, but anyway so if, if, uh, if that covers everything I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial Hope you guys hope this helps you out, and uh, good luck with all your uh, VOB file editing. Uh, thanks for watching.